this was originally episode uh, 17 of Fractal Wars Mojo. Um, yeah, that is mainly because I've explained that already in the other videos that um, um, that I've done these videos in Dutch and Music Fan wanted me to do them in English. There we are. This was originally episode 17, so we're gonna react to uh, the top 10 Antrax songs. I like Antrax, that is why I reacted to them so early. When uh, no requests were in and I did um, videos of my own, uh, I clicked on the Antrax video. So um, yeah, I, I like this band. Um, I like the 80s stuff, spreading the disease, the um, uh, House of Debian. Um, Fistful of Metal, I like that, but it is really messy. Um, Among the Living is a masterpiece. Persistence of Time, really thick bass. Oh yeah, and State of Euphoria, I forget it all. Uh, mostly because it is really uh, forgettable in my opinion. It is a bit of a rushed Among the Living album, but there we are. Um, Sound of White Noise is pretty interesting, but the only good John Bosch album. I think we can all agree on that. Um, yeah, then other records but I'm not gonna do a uh, band review at the moment I, I like this band and we're gonna see what's on the list I'm gonna predict that Indians or um, God of Marsh uh, basically everything from um, from Among the Living, I'm the Law, great song, the title track mm, uh, Madhouse I think that's gonna be number one not the anime production studio but uh, Madhouse the song from Anthrax yeah, a Madhouse, a great, uh, great stu anime studio, but there we are, studio, directors, whatever. Um, yeah, let's just watch the video and see what's on the list. I'm the law. My favorite Antrax song. Only. Yeah, that is mainly why Antrax is uh, my third favorite uh, trash metal band at the moment. Um, of course, besides Metallica and Megadeth, um, Antrax is really uh, diverse. They have really thick bass. Um, that is why Slayer isn't my favorite. They actually uh, my least favorite of the big four. That is why uh, because their bass isn't really thick. Tom Raya is a good bass player, but you know he he, do, he doesn't even come close to Frank Bello. He's amazing, and Slayer is really repetitive. And Anthrax uh, changes it up every now and, and and again. And I mean Frank Bello, great bassist, really underrated. However, be admitting any of the band's covers such as Antisocial and Got the Time. Yeah, if you want to know how um, how good Frank Beller really is, then just listen to God's Time, man. His bass playing on there. It is an orgasm. I'm not joking. As well as a collaboration with Public Enemy for their song Break the Noise. So 90s. Although we do think these are amazing recordings in their own right. And Social is my, um, my anthem. I'm not joking there. Uh, Death Rider. Number 10, Death Rider. Yeah, good song. The opener, I believe. We say that it's best to start a story at the beginning, so we're kicking off this Anthrax countdown with Death Rider. For um, Fistful of Metal. A speedy standout track from the band's debut LP, Fistful of Metal. The song served as a fast and aggressive statement of intent for Anthrax early days. As Death Rider boasts a wrist ripping main riff from guitarist Scott Ian and Dan Spitz. Bolstered by some relentless double kick drumming from Charlie Benante behind the kit. Meanwhile, the song's chorus features an ear piercing shriek by then frontman Neil Turbin, whose tenure with the band was relegated to just this album. Uh, Lone Justice. Number nine, Lone Justice. Just as Anthrax, Frank Bello might be one of metal's most underrated 
bass players, Lone Justice doesn't always get the love it deserves. This jam oh. spreading the disease opens up with posh friendly bass and drum intro before launching into a heavy and melodic ode to the American Wild West. Lone Justice has gained steam with fans since its 1985 debut, even making an appearance as a hidden bonus track on the band's 2004 album of classic re-recordings with then frontman John Bush, the greater of two evils. Not the biggest fan of that. Just keep um, Joey better Donna at the vocals. Keep John Bush away from the classic stuff. Get the fuck out of here. He can sing on this though. Um, cut it, no, not cut in the marsh. Um, room for one more. He can sing on this. He is great on uh, on sound of white noise. You're number one to get. Dark, brooding, heavy. This was the sound of Anthrax Mark III. Now armed with former Armored Saints vocalist John Bush, it was the Sound of White Noise album which would help redefine Anthrax as a muscular metal entity in the grunge-obsessed 90s. Exemplified a sound which still features massive hooky riffs, yet which also operates more on groove and subtlety. Think of it as Andrax filtered down to its most pure metal essence. Uh, among the living. This video, though. Hardcore Anthrax fans will know this one right away, as this title track from their third studio album wastes no time in muscling its way onto our list with a haunting intro melody, early main riff, and an absolutely incendiary chorus. Anthrax guitarist and lyricist Scott Ian has always been very open in repping his comic book and literature influences. This is set on full display here on Among the Living, which is based upon Stephen King's classic post-apocalyptic novel, The Stand. It's a track which is simultaneously fun and fearsome, and an enduring classic to this very day. Great record. Among the Living. Ah, oh, air, yes. That opening riff. Oh, gross. Yeah, air is great. This track from Spreading the Disease really gets the party started. Charlie Benante's rapid fire drums crack into the main riff, which is virtually guaranteed to get bodies moving. While Joey Belladonna's powerful vocals carries the chorus into fist pumping euphoria. Here was a song of first for Anthrax, as it kicks off the band's penchant for acronym song titles, while also debuting a chunkier, mosh friendly, punky musical attack. It was a style with which lent Anthrax major success, and one band would flock to in droves. Uh, only, yeah. I love the dark atmosphere on this track, on the entire Sound of White Noise record, but especially on Only, man. The angst written vocals, the just the end instruments, the, the really industrial on this track, I love it, man. Delivering a vocal tour de force which rivals anything the singer had achieved with his former 
I mean, there's no debate. Only is John Bush's best song ever. No, no debate. My opinion, the best song from Among the Living. Number four, I am the law. Andrax comes out of the gate swinging hard here with this mean, heavy, and epic ode to comic book legend Judge Dredd. takes no prisoners from the first note to last as guitarist Scott Ian and Dan Spitz go for the throat in a song which possesses virtually no weak points whatsoever. All red line oh, gripping, yeah. breakneck drums, and Joey Belladonna's anthemic cries to respect the badge, he earned it with his blood. He earned it with his blood. I Am The Law continues to be a live staple for the band and one of Anthrax's absolute best penned classics. It is her best. Uh, Meadows, huh? I actually thought that this was gonna be number one. Ah, uh, then, then this is probably gonna be Indians. It is our most popular one. It's a man I'm insane. It is. Uh, Indians, oh. Also not number one. Uh, the, yeah, then it's gonna be Cutter the Marsh. Number two. Do -ka -do -ka -do -ka -do. Yeah, it was actually my first song, I believe, uh, that I heard from Anthrax or Madhouse. The song probably isn't very far from their mind. Indians is one of the songs most closely related to the band's catalog, a statement of intent which encapsulates nearly everything for which Anthrax stands. From its driving guitar riffs and melodic vocals, all the way to a vicious mosh breakdown. The song was also representative of Anthrax's collective message of positivity as a band. <laughs> as Indians calls out the unfair treatment of First Nations in America. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Metal Threshing Matt from uh, Fishful of Metal. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fuck off. What is the words? I'm not gonna replicate that, something like that, imitate that. Art and Danger from uh, Spreading the Disease. Intro to Reality Belly of the Beast from Persistence of Time. Yeah, actually, nothing from Persistence of Time, which is a great record. Wow, that was really short. Uh, Be All and All from State of Euphoria. Bird number one. Got a lot of them on the living record. Caught in a marsh. This is the big one. The song that always sends fists and bodies flying at any Andrax show. Oh, caught in a marsh. Frank Bello kicks things off with his iconic bass groove as Caught in a Marsh writes like lightning into the heart of metal fans everywhere as a true. What is it? Do, 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 do. There's a reason why the song is so connected with Anthrax's band, as it represents so strongly the group's musical intensity, aesthetic roots, and electric energy. 
simply stated, it's the quintessential Anthrax song. So, do you agree with our list? What Anthrax song do you feel should have made the list? Hey, uh, yeah, Fire Until You Can is actually one of my favorites. Go figure. Yeah, I actually think that uh, Anthrax is really good now. Um, yeah, I mean, Metallica is a joke nowadays. Uh, Slayer is really um, I mean, not a band anymore. Uh, Megadeth is really good. I think Megadeth is really great, but of course you're not going to beat Peace Cells and Rust in Peace. You're not going to beat their record. Um, yeah, and Anthrax is actually uh, even better than they used to be. Well, I'm not going to say they're better than Spreading the Disease and Among the Living. That Those are always their best records, no doubt about that. But I still think they uh, they made some great records with Worship Music. I really love that record. and. Uh, for all kings, the the most recent one that's really great. So check out some end tracks. Really great band, really underrated because um, well, most people say that they don't belong in in the big four, but I think that they actually top three material. They're better than Slayer, in my opinion. But hey, that is just me. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this list. Let me know what you think about. Um, uh, yeah, just let let me know what you think about it and. Um, yeah, enjoy Anthrax, enjoy some Among the Living, enjoy Spraying the Disease, enjoy those records, they're great. And yeah, let, let, just let me know what you think about Anthrax, let me know your favorite records, your favorite songs, and take care.